it's April and welcome to my toy world. Today I'm here with two Playmobil Wildtopia sets and I'm excited to add more animals to my Playmobil Wildtopia collection. So we have here the DIY advent calendar and it was on sale and it is full of fun animals to add to our collection. So I'm not gonna open it up like an advent calendar. I'm just gonna open it up and take out all the pieces to add to my animal collection. I also got the really super fun play set with the giant ant eater. So let's go ahead and start with the ant eater play set here. I think that this looks like so much fun. It's got some fun habitat here for the anteater and a couple of characters here. You can see the side, it shows the anteater in its little habitat. Its uh, head goes up and down, shows how you can set up its little um, area where it lives, its little habitat. The kids have a wagon here and it looks like some other fun accessories as well. So I'm really eager to open this up and check it out, looks like we even have some little ant stickers there that we can set out. That'll be really, really fun. So let's go ahead and take a close up look. So here's what it comes with here. Got some stickers and some parts here and our giant ant eater. And this is really cool. You can use this to make its tongue stick out to eat all the ants and its uh, head goes up and down so it can walk along collecting its ants. Its tail also goes up and down. I think ant eaters are such fascinating creatures. So that is really cool. Here is the collectible card that it comes with, the ant eater, and this is what they look like in real life. It's a picture of an actual ant eater. That is so interesting. They get to be 110 pounds, which is pretty big. My yellow Labrador is around 105 pounds, and he is a really big dog. So these anteaters must become very large, and it says that they can move at 19 miles per hour. That's pretty quick. And it shows that they are 55 inches long. And I think that they come from South America. That is really cool. So that's a little collectible card that all the animals come with, which I think is just wonderful. Here's our little instruction booklet that it came with so that we can see how to put this set together. Here it talks about the Amazon region here. It says, we accompany the Palmer family to the Amazon region in South America, also called Amazonia. The area around the Amazon River is world famous for the largest rainforest on earth and its diverse inhabitants. That is so interesting. Here it shows this a character here. Her name is Lou. And then this is Liv, another one of the characters. She's nine years old. This is Sophia. Uh, she is the mother. And here is Rick. Rick is uh, 14 years old. And this is Jamie. Jamie is 39 years old and he's a vet and a tea lover. The loving Brit would really do anything for his family if he weren't constantly the victim of his own clumsiness. Oh no, so Jamie's a little bit clumsy, but it looks like he's a veterinarian and he loves tea. I love having tea time too. So that is really fun. That's a little bit about the family there. Talks a little bit more about Wildtopia and how they're made with more than 80% on average sustainable materials. And here are the instructions. Now I'm gonna follow the instructions and put together our anteater habitat. I've put everything together for this adorable anteater set. I just love it. It came with some ant stickers. Here is the anteater again, and again, its tongue moves in and out, just like so. And here's something adorable that it came with, a little baby anteater that hangs on to the mother's tail here and walks along. I thought that that was so cute. So it also comes off here and you can see the absolutely adorable little baby anteater. I just love that, that is so fun. Here's its little um, habitat. You can see where I added the little ant stickers all around here. We've got a really cool little structure here. That's really neat. And some flowers and plant life, a little area under here. That's really, really neat. And then we've got our little characters here, this person here. He's got a, a little bag here for perhaps carrying supplies for his adventures on his little belt. 
And so that's nice. I like his blue shoes. So he's ready to go on an adventure exploring these anteaters. There's a nice little wagon for them to carry their supplies that they can hold on to. We'll go ahead and have him um, hold on to the wagon here. There we go. So he can carry the wagon there. There's an apple that can go in it to feed the wildlife, as well as some wildlife food here that they can hang on to. And it looks like some food for their outing. Looks like some apple jelly or jam of some sort. Also comes with this girl here. She's got cute little pigtails and a nice floral designed shirt there with some sandals. She's gonna go along on this adventure as well. And then it also comes with this cute little lizard who can hang out in the habitat. So that is our anteater set. I absolutely love it. Here we can have the little anteater working on eating some of those ants along with the little baby there. So that is a really, really fun set. Next, let's go ahead and open up our advent calendar. Here is a close-up look at the Wildtopia advent calendar. You can see that this would have been really fun at Christmas time too. I wonder if they'll come out with a new one for this year's Christmas. But I'm really glad that I went ahead and purchased this because it has a lot of items inside. So it says here you can reverse the image. So you have this really cool designed box here. That is really fun. It comes with stickers and shows how you can put that all together. So it's a do-it-yourself kit to make an advent calendar. Again, we're not going to do that, but I'll show you the inside and we can check out uh, what that looks like. Mostly I purchased it because I wanted to add all of these animals to my Wildtopia collection. We have a new character there and look at all of the animals that it comes with including a boat there and some other um, different habitats and animals. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we can check out all the animals that we get in this set up close. I've opened up the box and these are all the items it comes with. Here's the sticker sheet here. We'll have to see how we can use that. And here's the instruction book here. It comes with a bunch of these really cool boxes here. So you just can fold it together like so. And you've got a box that you can fill. It says day 18 there. And then it's got this pretty image here. You can also reverse it to see the image. So you could start out with it put in um, the box facing this way. And then on day 18, when you opened it, you would turn it around and then pretty soon you'd have a whole entire scene built. That is really, really cool. Today we're gonna go ahead and see all of the items that this set comes with because that way we can add a lot of animals to our Wildtopia collection. I have everything out of the advent calendar and assembled and now I'll show you each piece up close. We'll just go in order of the back of the box. So it shows day one as this explorer here very, very cool. He comes with a really cool watch here and a vest and explorer outfit, some uh, binoculars, a map here, and a walkie talkie. So a nice little bunch of accessories there for our explorer. Day two is this bear here. Oh, I'm so excited to have a bear. His mouth opens and closes, which I think is extra neat. And he comes with a fish here. Of course, bears love to eat fish. So he's got a fish there that he can have for his lunch. Day three was this set here, a really cool parrot in a tree. I love getting trees and birds. It really helps make the environment look really fun and realistic and detailed. So a parrot. On day four, there is a gazelle. So we have a really nice gazelle here. That's wonderful. Day five is a set of adorable little koala bears here. You can see they can grasp onto trees. There's a little baby koala bear as well, and they come with a little bit of grass to eat here. So some koala bears. Day six, we have this really wonderful boat. Our explorer can go in that. It's a little rowboat. We'll go ahead and sit him in here like so, and he can pack his binoculars and his map and his walkie-talkie in his boat. That way he can explore the Amazon. 
Day seven is a peacock. This is really cool. The head moves up and down so it can eat if it wants. That is really wonderful. It also has grips here so it can land up in a tree. So that's our peacock. Then we have a vulture here with a really large wingspan there. Its head goes up and down. It's also got uh, feet that can perch on a branch and it comes with this uh, carcass to eat here. So a vulture with its bones to work on. On day nine, we have this tree and an adorable little skunk. Here's the tree up close. I love trees. You could perch some of the birds that we got on here as well. And of course, here is the adorable little teeny tiny skunk. I think that's so cute. All of these animals will go along so nicely with the rest of my Wildtopia collection. I'm very excited to have all of these. So then we've got this here, a little hill with some grass and a snake here. It looks like it has a rattle tail, but I'm not sure if it's a rattlesnake or not. It's got green and yellow stripes on black. That is really neat. So we've got some more scenery and a snake for day 10. Day 11, we have this really cool swordfish. It's nice to have some sea creatures. Day 12, we have this set here. Another little tree with a bird. This looks to me like a kingfisher bird. I'm not 100% sure, um, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. It's a beautiful blue flower there. Again, another nice bird and tree for our collection. Day 13, we have another tiger here. His tail moves around like this. His uh, head goes up and down and he comes with this uh, meat that he's eating here. So a tiger for day 13. And for day 14 we have this really cute lemur here. That is so fun. I love watching lemurs. They're so cute. For day 15 we have this creature here. I'm not sure if this is an alligator or a crocodile or some other type of similar creature. I'll have to look that up later. And it's got a little baby one as well. So that's really cute. I love that the big one here can open and close its mouth. That would be really interesting to see along the edge of a swamp. Day 16, we have a beautiful undersea um, little fish display here. It comes with two fish and some coral. That's really, really beautiful. We could put these down here with the swordfish and then we have a little underwater area. Day 17, we have this here. I think it's like a reindeer perhaps. Its head goes up and down so it can be eating some grass here. We have a little red panda here. That's so cute. Look at that little face there. I love red pandas. For day 19, we have a flamingo. So a flamingo can go up and down like this so it can be eating. Comes with a nice little stand there for its bright uh, pink legs there and its beautiful flamingo feathers. Day 20 is this really wonderful little kangaroo and baby Joey. Let's see if the little kangaroo fits inside the pouch. And it does. That way it can hop along with its mother. You can see how adorable that is. Oh, I love kangaroos. They're so neat. So it's wonderful to have a kangaroo. Day 21, we have some more scenery and another snake living inside this log here. It's a orange snake with black and white stripes and it comes with this really cool log here with some plants growing out of it. And again, a really wonderful hiding spot for that snake or some of our other smaller animals. Day 22, we have a beaver. Its tail can go up and down just like beavers can. And it's got a little stick there. Of course, beavers love sticks to chew on and build their dams, their beaver dams. Day 23, we have an Arctic fox with some like ice chunk there. Here's the little fox. Its head goes up and down. It's got a really nice tail there. So that is our Arctic fox. For day 24, we have a gorilla with some vine to hang from. Its hands twist. I think is really nice. See if it can grasp onto this vine here to be swinging along. You can put it up in the air like it might be swinging. There's its face there. Here's its other hand. And again, those hands twist, which I think is wonderful to help them climb along. Its feet also move up and down like this so it can jump up into the tree. 
This is a really cool figure. So that is our gorilla. I'm very happy to have a gorilla in our collection here. So those are all of the animals that we got in this advent calendar. This was such a great deal. Um, I got this advent calendar on sale, so it was on a really wonderful price. Now that it's not Christmas time, I definitely hope they come out with another advent calendar for Christmas time this coming year. This was so fun to open up, and I absolutely love all of the animals that we got in this set. So many to add to our Wildtopia collection. So now I'm going to go ahead and set everything up and give you one last look. So now I have everything set up, let's go ahead and take one last close-up look. enjoyed opening up Playmobil's Wildtopia Anteater set back here as well as all of these amazing animals that we opened up in the Playmobil Wildtopia Advent Calendar. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all of these wonderful animals and I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye! <music>